And that's all going against the word of God. So my suggestion, so God isn't against you, is to take it off and we throw it up on the roof and get rid of it. All right, let's do it. Oh, All right, it. Right. When it goes against the God of the scriptures, right? So we have to remove those things. Go to go to Habakkuk 2 and 18. Listen to this. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 18. What profit is the graven image that the maker thereof had graven image. So the graven image is those crosses that they make, okay? It says, what is what profit is in there? There's no profit. They don't live. They don't breathe. They can't do nothing. But for them, it does something. For the people that conquered us, for them, it does something. They're idol worshippers. They, they, they're into paganism and stuff, right? Go ahead, Bree. The molten image and a teacher of lies. You see, that cross is a teacher of lies because it teaches us that it represents the God of the Bible, but it doesn't represent the God of the Bible. It represents another God named Tammuz. So what we encourage our brothers and sisters to do is to remove those things so that the Most High, so God is not against us. All right? That the maker of his work trusted therein. That's right. To make dumb idols. Dumb idols that they don't live. They don't breathe nothing. They are teachers of lies. Was, um, let me get Exodus. Go to Exodus chapter 20. Watch this. This is also breaking the commandments of God, having that on your neck. Book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 1. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. That's right. We were taking, the Israelites were the only people taken out of the land of Egypt. With a mixed multitude, but eventually the Most High got rid of them. Go ahead. Out of the house of bondage. That's right. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. There you go. So we shouldn't have any other gods before the Most High in Christ. Read. Thou shalt not make unto thee any great graven image. That's right. Or any likeness of uh -huh. anything that is in heaven above. That's right. Flip it over. You see how it has like this little hanging man on it? That's literally making something that's in heaven. That the Bible just tells you don't make anything that's in heaven. Don't make an image or idol or anything that's in heaven. So it's literally going against the word. Read. Thou shalt not make unto any unto thee any graven image. That's right. Or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above. That's right. Or that is in the earth beneath. Uh -huh. Or that is in the water under the earth. Read again. Keep reading. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, yep. nor serve them. Yep. For I, the Lord thy God, yep. am a jealous God. Keep going. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children. See, there's a consequence for it. Unto Read. the third and fourth generation. That's right. Of them that hate me. And so wearing that is showing that you hate God because it's not that you do hate God is that you haven't been properly educated on what, what we you know what we're doing in this Luciferian society. But another thing about that, it says that we shouldn't bow down to them, right? The conquistadors, they were, they came with Catholicism. What do we have to do every time you go into the Catholic Church? You got to bend down and you got to do this, right? The Bible, what the Bible says, don't bow down to it, right? But then they say, go ahead and bow down to it. Why? Because they programmed us wrong. They taught us lies. That's why the the, the, the image is a teacher of lies. It teaches us to go against the Word of God, breaking the Word. Before I had this one, yeah. I had a green one, but yeah. I had a green one to the point where it was different. Yeah. That's a rosary, right? And yeah. The, the, the rosary is something so, that came out of the Catholic system. Yeah, you gotta pray, pray to be. So, yeah. yeah, so that's all. And that's all going against the Word of God. So, so my suggestion, <laughs> so God isn't against you, right. is to take it off and we throw it up on the roof and get rid of it. Yes. All right, let's do it. Oh, praise it. Oh, praise it. Oh, praise it. That's why God is going to be on his side right now. Get that rejoicing. The heavens are rejoicing. Hold on. Let me get that real quick. I want to get this. Press. Angels rejoice. Yeah, the angels rejoice. I think it's James 5 4 Yeah, you're, you're, you're protected anyway, sister. You don't need that idol because some of us hold that like to think of a you know, protection. We have it in our cars and all of that. Yeah. but. The Most High is going to be looking out for that's the kidney. Right, it's Luke 15 and 10. Luke 15 and 10. Hallelujah. Glory to the Most High God. We out here for y'all. This is all love, man. We got to educate our people, help them. We got to, you know, bring 
edification, you know what I'm saying? 15 and 16? Yep, 15 and 10, sir. 15 and 10. Yeah. All right, the book of Luke, chapter 15 and verse 10. Hallelujah. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels so, of the Most High God. So right now, in the presence of the Most High God, there's joy because you repented. You took it away. You heard the word of God. You heard faith, you build faith, and you say, you know what, let's get rid of this. Let's go. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of the Most High God. Hallelujah. Over one sinner that repented. That's right. And that's what you just did, sis. Let's throw that thing up on the <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We here, we here. We, we come here every Saturday, sis. Yeah. Where did you get it from? Every Saturday, Lord allow us to get it. Just like we did Glory to the Most High. All praises. All praises. A little bit about what some of us don't even know. Some of us get a tattoo with the white Jesus on it. Do you believe that that's who it is? Yeah, we're not going to ask that question. Yeah, we're going to tell you who this guy is. This is another thing. This is, uh, the reason why we got this with the horns and everything like that is because you can't find this in the Bible. This image with the hair long, the eyes, and the skin tone up. You can't find this image in the Bible. Exactly. That's a great question. That's exactly what we were thinking too. And so we're like, well, let's find this thing in the Bible, right? Mm -hmm. Let's show you how the Bible describes it. Book of Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must be surely come to pass. So this is revelation. That's what revelation means to reveal. Okay, so this is going to reveal a likeness of Christ. And he said unto signified by this angel unto his servant John. He's been signified by the angel. So the signature is on it. This is real stuff, real talk, basically. I'm going to hop down to yeah. verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, uh -huh. clothed with a garment down to the foot. Close with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the path with a golden girdle. That's right. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So he had white wow. woolly hair. Okay? He didn't have, you know, Spaniard hair. Like, you know, some of us. He doesn't have this type of hair, basically. Okay? He doesn't have this European stuff. He got white woolly hair. Read. Head and his hair was white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. That's right. And his feet like unto fine grass. That's right. As if they burned in a furnace. So what color was he on this sis? Grass. Grass is the derivative of brown. But then it says that it was burned in a furnace. You put anything in a furnace, it gets real dark. So according to the scriptures, the, the, the Christ, the Messiah, would have, if he was living today, and walking, if not say living today, but if he was walking the earth, he would have been a so-called black man. They would have called him a black man. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yo, sis, you own it. You're absolutely right. Yo, that is so true. Yeah, for real. Absolutely right. Now check this out. We're going to talk about this real quick. So this is Caesar Bourget. This was a real living man. He really lived. When he died, his father was Pope Alexander VI. Pope Alexander VI made a god out of him. And that's where you get this image of Christ. It's a representation of him. And I'm going to read it in the Bible. Check this out. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter, what is it? 14 and 15. For a father afflicted with untimely mourning. So his son died. When he have made an image of his child soon taken away, now honor him as a god. So this is Caesar Borgier. Now Pope Alexander had him drawn, made an image or likeness of him into this, and now he's honored as a god. And all the churches are that honored as a god. Right? That's prophecy in the scriptures. It says, 
uh, when he have made an image of his child soon taken away now honor him ha as a god which was then a dead man and delivered to those that were under him ceremonies and sacrifices so that's what we get that's why you get like those bending down to a knee this all that ceremonial sacrifices you know all that stuff is what they created for this god yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of confusion. That's why we come out here and we try to teach and we educate like about the cross. Because we're sitting home. Yeah, definitely. All praises. I'm happy to hear that. Because we're sitting at home and we're like sitting and we're studying these things. So that when we come out to these streets. Yeah, exactly. You could give them Habakkuk. You could give them Exodus chapter 20, which is in the Ten Commandments. You could read the first your first few ten commandments and then you could go to Habakkuk chapter 2 and 18 which talks about that image being a teacher of lies you could go there and there's a couple other more pieces but those are the ones to that just quick quick hitters you know yeah all praises oh, man. No, all praises Food. Yeah, he was like, let's go. Yeah, 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 exactly. Watch this. It's in the scriptures. That type of behavior is in the scriptures. Watch. Yeah. We give you the word, right? Bring it out. Mark chapter 4 and verse 15. And these are they by the wayside. So that's us, right? We're by the wayside. Where the, war, where the word is sown. Yep. We're sowing the word into the people. But when they have heard, uh -huh. Satan cometh immediately. You see that person that doesn't want you to do right? The person that wants you, that don't want you to get right? Yeah. Yo, go, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, like, damn. Like, no. Exactly. So look, it's, 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 it's Satan. Go ahead, read. These they are by the wayside where uh -huh. the word is sown. Yep. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately. Yep. And taketh away the word exactly. that was sown in their heart. Exactly. So after you leave here, Somebody might say, esos es hombres son locos. ¿Por qué tú estabas allí hablando con ellos? They're trying to take away that word that we're giving you. You know what I'm saying? That life. Hallelujah. Yeah, you're not going to get taught this thing. Believe it or not, since you were brought over here by the Most High. Mm. He, he, he brought you over here. Yeah, all praises. We're here every Saturday. You got our information. You can reach out to us. We got beautiful sisters that you can hang out with. You know, kind of, you know, talk and, you know, we can help you out, you know, here and there, little by little, to the best of our yeah, ability, you know? Yeah, I'd be so afraid to come down here half the time and just when I'm done. Yeah, especially around here, you know a lot of people that you want to get you to different things <laughs> or make you do something crazy, you know, so I know it's difficult, yeah. Somewhere along, yeah. the most I gave you that spirit of not fearing because you did come over here. You yeah. know what I mean? I mean, I'm passed <laughs> yeah, by you guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, all crazy. But it was something about me was like, I need to save you. Yeah, exactly. Come, come. You're welcome. Whenever you see us, man, come here. Yeah. Yeah. And you can message too if you have. You can message, ask questions, whatever. I right, can help out. Yeah, get some congregation going. Do you know your, do you know your nationality? Man, that's funny. Did that's too much that? information. That same guy that that she is Israelite. Yeah. What's your nationality? Where are you from? You Puerto, Puerto Rican? Rican. All right, Puerto uh, Rican. You see your name on that sign right there? You see Puerto Rican? Looking for Puerto Ricans on that sign there. What's that? Oh, it says Ephraim. 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 Yeah. Ephraim. So that's what God calls you. Yeah, that's what God calls us. You're not a thing. Yeah. Rich, what does Puerto Rico mean? Puerto, Puerto Rico, Rico means, means, if you flip it in English, rich port. Mm -hmm. Now, rich are you port. a thing? Are you a rich port? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The, the conquistadores church, gave us that name. Boricua, right? Boricua comes from the word borinquen. Boricua is, is a, it's a, it's a, it's a Hebrew word, which means brave. You were brave people. You were the brave people of the island of Puerto Rico. The Taino. The Taino but what happened was Christopher Columbus, right, who came, conquered the island, killed all the native Taino. The, yeah. Matter of fact, they came over and said, if you don't worship that, yeah. and what we say, then we're going to kill you. And that's oh, what they did. Exactly, yeah. And the Tainos were a kind of loving people, and that's yeah. how we are. You know, we, we're very loving, we're very hospitable. We're not being hooked in an you know, we feed our we, people. Yeah, we you know feed what I'm saying? People. Yeah. 
But these masters came, yeah. it's like if I come to your house, right, and I say, you know what, you gotta worship this. Or, or die. And die. Worship it or die. Or, or matter of fact, I come into your house and be like, all right, this is my house now. It's time to go. What are you gonna tell me? Yeah, right. 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 Yeah, so far, natives. <laughs> Supposedly, the natives. They don't. They don't run it. A lot of times, they don't look out on the actual natives. They're not even the actual. Those natives. are the. Those, those are generational. Are, yeah. Yeah. Those are the yeah. The five dollar Indians. Yeah. The five dollar Indians. <laughs> yeah. That's true. They're not the real. They're not the real natives. Yeah, that's true. So, the real natives are oppressing that land. If I know that my my mom and dad are Puerto Rican. Yep. And my that's grandma and yeah, yeah. my grandma were Puerto Rican. Yep. So like. I have like a long history line. Uh-huh. Like everybody's straight Puerto Rican. Yeah, that's what we have too. That's because so, we've been but we taught. But we're not Puerto Rican. We're, uh, we're, we're Ephraimites. East, whatever that say, word e, is. No, say Ephraim. 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 What's your nationality? That's right. I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Ephraim. I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Ephraim. Right. Come on, man, bring it out. I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Ephraim. Israelite. 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 Man, his name is Yaqua Yam Ben Yasra Allah. He's been putting the work in. You're gonna love this if you're around. He's from the tribe of Ban Yam Yam, Benjamin. Yeah, Benjamin, West Indies. He's a Benjamite. Yeah, West Indies is the best. In. He's a he's a Benjamite. His brother's been putting in work. Yeah, he's been going in hard. Yep, we're all brothers. We out here to unite the tribes of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel. And you know, those. this is a sign for those that are on this part of the world and we got more on the other side. So yeah, take a picture. It's in your uh, flyer too. It's front, it's yeah, it's on your flyer too. Oh, yeah, but go ahead, take a picture, yeah. That's yeah. Post yeah, post it on Instagram, yeah. yeah. Take a picture of that. Yeah. Hallelujah, glory to the most high. So without further ado, we're going to bring out the man, the one and only, the general with the accoloids and the vest. Mr. Brother, Father, Uncle, <laughs> Man of the Most High.